Hi there, so this video was suggested by a subscriber and it's about meeting traffic. Now, uh, the reason why people struggle with meeting traffic is because even though it's probably explained to you by your instructor and, or your person who's helping to teach you to drive, it can change quite quickly. So uh, one thing you've got to remember is if you're causing the person coming the other way to slow down and it's, your, and it's there right away, then you're probably in the wrong. So think like that and you won't be too far away. But what we'll do is I'll turn the camera around in a minute and I'll film some scenes while I'm driving along and I'll give commentary on, on what's going on and you'll understand about how quickly things can change. So there'll be, there'll be easy roads, there'll be more roads where there's a lot more traffic. So the, so the, the, the higher the traffic volume parked up or driving towards you, you're probably gonna go a little bit slower. So it's about using appropriate speed at the same time. And if you're going too fast in busy tra traffic where there's loads of parked cars, you're gonna find you're gonna make more mistakes. So. I'll turn the camera around and uh, I'll film it and I'll give commentary about what I think is going to happen, what should happen to the other cars in front of you, and if it changes, I'll tell you why it's changing, what I think. Okay, let's go. So we're just going past test centre in Bletchley. It's a 2.30 in the afternoon and we're doing stuff on meeting traffic. So let's do a ride at this junction, checking out the road signal. I'm giving commentary about what sort of problems people do on meeting traffic. Now, straight away, you have to give way at the junction, so there's no rush. You're just watching for the traffic, make sure you've got a safe gap. Thing is, when you start your driving test, you're gonna feel like you need to do things to impress the examiner. They're just there to watch that you're safe. So I've tilted it slightly higher, the camera angle, so you can see the, the signs more. We've got a mini roundabout coming up now, so you've got your first meeting possibly issue. We're going to do a left turn at the mini roundabout, so let's check the mirror to the left, signal in. The car's coming downhill, there's one already indicating. We're letting now we're giving way to that big truck, so that's a meeting issue because if you pull your way through it, you could end up having a collision. And we're letting him go, so if you risk it, you could put his foot down. So that's what you've got to say. I don't want to take any silly risks in the first few minutes. I'm not trying to impress anyone. I just want to drive safely. So we're looking down the road. And remember, we're, we're meeting traffic. If your car's in the other car to slow down when it's there right away, you're going to be in the wrong. So the lights are on red. So all you've got to say is when you get off the car in front of you, make sure you can see his two tyres on the road. If you can't see his tyres, and you're too close. And while you're waiting, get your handbrake on, get yourself in first gear. You know, if you're about 10 cars back, then handbrake neutral, because you might be there a few seconds. Here's a good example. Within 10 seconds, we're moving off. And you're not rushing, see there's not much space out of you, so you have to take your time. And go at an angle. If you rush through it, you could clip things. So it's about looking ahead of you, see what the problem is. So we've got a problem here, we've got a blue car on the right who's waiting to come through, followed by a pack car straight after it. So you've got to take your time because the angle's narrow. So I'm going to the left, bring myself through. At this point, I'm only in second gear, and I'm looking at the road. And it's important to check your mirrors. Is the car coming, so I'm slowing down. Because there's a motorbike behind me. And with motorbikes, they tend to try and overtake you a lot especially if you feel like you're not going as fast as you could go. See what I've done then? I didn't take any chances. That, that silver car had the priority. Not worth trying to risk it. We're going to do a right turn at the end. Well, yeah, if you've got anything behind you that's almost like they're trying to rush you, you go at your own pace, that's safe. And remember, keep an eye on them. If you're going to pull out and go past the back, yeah, check your right mirror first. Check in, see it's clear, both ways which it is, and I'm going, followed by a left turn straight away. So we've had a couple of little problems then. I'm going to do a right at the end of here. So checking the mirrors to the right, signaling, slowing down. Now if it's an open junction, I'll definitely be going. But because on the left hand side, I couldn't really see much, I'm slowing down to give way. And this is what you've got to remember. When you're on your driving test, as with after your driving test, you, you need to be careful. 
if you start being a bit blase when you're approaching things, then you're going to have an accident. So you don't take chances. You've got parked cars on the left, so you're looking up the road, there's a car coming, so you're slowing down, but you position once you can see down the road slightly. Now the car started to indicate, checking my right mirror, coming out, but if it wasn't indicating, I'd be in the way. Left turn here, you don't know what's around the car. I mean, I've got a good idea of my parked cars. Yep, loads of parked cars, so you're looking right on the road, you're off the gas for a second, assessing the situation, checking your right mirror, because there could be cars moving that you think's parked up, lots of parked cars, there must have been about eight or nine parked cars then on both sides. You're looking down the road again, loads of more parked cars, so it's all meeting situations. You can see in the distance there's a car going down then, or I can see. So it's meeting traffic all the time and with meeting tra traffic it changes so quickly and it changes from the next situation to the other and the only way you get good at it is practice it you know listen to your people who are helping you they've got experience left turn there followed by first right checking both ways nice open junction so i'm not slowing down you can see exactly what's going on followed by a right turn there's a there's a car coming towards me behind, behind this car, I can't see, I've just seen him in advance. See it, so that's why you don't rush to go around people. Loads of parked cars again. So I'm coming a little bit to the left to see up the road. See the position help me then. And I'm going to come again to the left to help myself. I can see up the road a bit more. Where if you stayed in the middle, which is wrong anyway, it's also restricting what you can see. There's a junction and do a right turn. And this can happen, every time you're driving around you can, you can come to everything where it's loads of clear stuff. It's not hard, but then again you can come around the corner and be confronted by having to give way, meeting traffic, so meeting traffic is also meeting pedestrians, because it is going to have, it's going to have past two. So I'm slowing down to check, I won't be accelerating through it because loads of parked cars. So at this time in the afternoon you could get kids starting to come out of school. You'll definitely get parents doing the school run. If no one knows what a school run is, I'm going to do a left turn here followed by a first right. If no one knows what a school run is. Quite simply, where the parents get a bit crazy and park anywhere. I don't know where it is, you know. <laughs> That's what I think anyway. So if you're going past school, you've got to be careful. So park, people are passing in two places. So right turn here. There's a car coming, so rather than brake hard, I'm off the gas early dropping down to low gear. I'm looking down the road I want to go into. Two parked cars before I even turn, I know what's going on. So I'm positioning to go around it straight away. So you always look down the road you want to go into. There's a left bend, can't see what I'm doing, but I'm in third gear at this point. I'm only doing 20. Parked car, looking at the road, checking the mirror, braking gently, because the car can come around the corner coming towards me. As I just said then, you know, that car was going a bit quick, but I was going at a nice slow speed, so I had time to react to it. Where if you're racing past it, even though it's not your fault, you can technically get a, a minor for um, appropriate speed. Which might be a bit too quick for that. So when people park in silly places, like close to junctions on, on sharp bends, you've got to be a little bit more careful in anticipation of what might happen. And it's nice and clear here, so I'm doing a bit, going a bit faster. I'm doing 27, so you've got to use your speeds at the right times. You can't. It's one of the things people do on drive tests is they start off in really narrow roads and going slow, and then as soon as it opens up, they keep going slow. And you've got to adjust your speed. You know, so a nice clear road. I'm doing 28 in a 30 roll, perfect. If it was packed with cars, like it was a few minutes ago. I'm going a lot slower. So we're coming to the end of the road. We're going to do a left turn at the end. So I'm getting under control, mirror signal left, slowing down for my gear change. I'm checking both ways. It looks fairly clear. It's still fairly clear, so I'm carrying on going. right turn, mirrors to right, signal right. These roads look quiet, but as soon as you get off the main road, you go into a quieter one, you know it's narrower, it's bound to be parked cars somewhere along here. It's in 
important not to cut the corners either. It's got any speed bumps, so you're checking what's behind you. Slow yourself down. What you don't want to do is go over fast on the speed bumps because you could lose control. We've got a junction coming up and a right turn. So we let our, everyone know, check your mirrors first, followed by a right signal. Slowing down, checking both ways. It's a nice open junction. There's no reason to stop because there's nothing approaching. So observations is important. It's at junctions, so there's a car on the right there. He's definitely slowing down, so I'm definitely going. But that was anticipation of what might happen. If he just kept coming out, even though he's in the wrong, he would also get a fault for not anticipating meeting traffic at that point because you're, you're going around the park now which means you're going to be on the wrong side of the road he should be giving way because he's got give way junction so even though it's his fault it's technically yours as well for not anticipating it so remember when you're driving around the idea is that you're going to be a safe driver not to blame the other drivers that's their fault Driving down here, back up to third gear, on a 30 road, doing 25, but I'm approaching party cars, a little bit of braking for the speed bump. We're getting in, she's going to open the door wide open. So they anticipate, which makes it a lot narrower than our point, so I'm slowing down, looking at the road, it's clear, I'm out, keeping an eye on her. She case starts moving. Because people do move off when they're not supposed to when you're going past them. So you keep an eye on them, even though they shouldn't say, I'm looking at the road, back up to third gear. I'm going to come in after this car so I can see the road more. So I'm back to my left, looking at the road. See the car coming through now? I'm slowing down. Where if I stay a bit wider, I'll be seeing him a bit later. And I'm slowing down and checking my mirror. There's a car behind me. Being aware of what's ahead of you and behind you at the same time because the ones that are behind you can cause problems. If they think they've got an opportunity to overtake sort of you because you're not as quick, they're going to try it. So you've got to be aware of that. Ahead of us, we've got a truck, a bin truck. The problem there is blocking the road. Now I'm going to go the other way at this point rather than just sitting in the middle of traffic. So I'm going to go left and look at the road. Drive speed limit at 20 mile an hour, there's loose gravel on the ground. That car started moving then. I'm looking up the road. I'm going to do a right emerge at the end of it. Mirrors, signal right. Checking both ways. Right, left, right. It's clear and moving on. Park cars, junction, left turn, mirror signal left. So as I'm slowing down, I'm checking both ways. Now there's a bit more park cars here, so I'm slowing down, a bit more cautious. Good job I did, there's a car there. Now, do you see the problem on the left in a second? There's a white BMW parked near the junction. Anything coming down the road is going to be on your side. Here it comes. That's it. So you, and you can see park cars near junctions, so look up the road. Because anything coming down is going to go around the cars. Mirror signal right do a right emerge onto a busy road. So I'm checking, get up to the white line. The closer you get, the more you'll see. Checking both ways, be patient. And while you're waiting, no point in getting your biting point if it's packed. But if you see a gap starting to appear, get your gas up, feel that biting point. Remember, you're on a hill, it needs a bit more power. And brake off, control it. You don't want to shoot off, you want to control the speed. Give you a bit more insight to meeting traffic. If you like it, don't forget to press the like button. And if you want to subscribe to my latest uploads, by all means, press the subscribe button. Safe driving.